get those bridges checked out. Yeah, absolutely. It's important. Uh, let's check in now with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. A lot of people stressing about this yeah. big weekend coming up. Trust Craig. me, I feel it. I, I'm starting to become the unpopular guy once again, and I don't like that feeling, especially coming off of a weekend where we had flooding and very, very heavy rainfall. You don't want to go into a holiday weekend and we're saying, oh, take that. No, no, no. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But uh, the situation is some bears watching tonight. Our clouds are out there, but no showers and temperatures in the upper 70, 78 and 78 and 79 across the board. Six on the stick in the scale it feels like 80 right now. East wind at 14 gusting to 28. High temperatures today thanks to all the clouds. Not as warm as our normal high of 88. So that's the good side of this situation. The clouds keeping the temperatures down. But there's that weak low pressure area that's sitting in the Southwest Caribbean that is forecast to come north. And as I said at the top of the show, possible development into a tropical depression or a subtropical, which is kind of a mix between a tropical non tropical system uh, here in the central and northern Gulf. A little track farther to the east could have more impacts on us. A track farther to the west could pull the impacts away. But right now the models in this model, this is the European models moisture forecast. And it kind of takes a track of the center right up there towards Louisiana, but all the moisture keeps on the east side of it, kind of the so-called dirty side. So here's the way things look on Friday. Here's the moisture coming in, and if this plays out, we would see showers and thunderstorms increase on Friday with heavy downpours. And then to Saturday, you see the low winding up there, but here we are kind of in this so-called moisture tail here with showers and thunderstorms. Now, if the whole system is a little more wound up or a little farther west, Dry air is not too far away. It could, it could skirt South Florida and we'd be in a mix of sun and clouds and a few passing storms. And then on Sunday, we're still in that moisture feed going up and around that low pressure area. Once again, that's based on the European model. Let's keep our fingers crossed that the whole system goes a little bit farther to the west. That's that would probably be the best situation for us tonight. Brief showers breezy along the beaches, a low near 74. Tomorrow, look for plenty of clouds, a few showers and a little bit of sun breaking through too. high temperature near 85 degrees for boaters. Winds coming down a bit southeast 10 to 15 seas running two to four feet. Moderate chop on the bays and taking us through the weekend. So what we'll say right now is it depends on the tropics because if that system comes real close to us, then it's going to be stormier. If it stays farther away, not as stormy. CBS 4 News tonight's coming right back.